Hello and welcome to your next tutorial. In this tutorial what we'll be doing is we will um, first off let's get rid of this and let's just type in continue. In fact here, here's a good thing I should probably go over in one of my tutorials. And that way you don't draw the same blocks twice. It still runs perfectly golden. We're still having that error. All we have to do copy paste and if x is greater than data dot chunk x continue and if y is greater than data dot chunk y continue run it and then you'll see that it's still giving us an error that kind of makes me wonder why okay it, it's like really not happy um how about is equal to or greater than try that that happens yeah see and now it's perfectly fine and that's how big your trunk will be I know that's what she said um, ignore that uh, that's just me being trying to be funny so now we have that fixed um, let's get on to more interesting stuff train generation um, and this is about to be incredibly hard in fact, you know what I think might be for the benefit that I um, rehearse before I teach that because it's going to be really tough. Um, let's learn about um, trying to think. What well, what can we learn about? We can make collisions. Yeah, okay, we can do that. So we'll just do simple collisions for now. So how you do collisions, right? Basically, all you have to do is, for the player, this is going to be kind of tough. Notice as he can go left and right, but he doesn't fall. So what you can do is you can do um, public, or public static void um, set fall rate, or um, no, I don't know what I'm doing update sorry that, that's just update the player set fall rate I don't know um and saying that we already have oh we already have um a method update okay so let's not do that let's do um update y and then up here we'll do update y because we're going update y and right here if um one more thing and there's another reason why we have um, that move this to data so refractor move data okay it refractors everything that's fine um, that's perfectly okay so player in fact let's, let's just have that down no wait we can't Let, let's have this at 100 I don't know why 61 seems a little too much of a weird number so if data dot blocks um, and then we could do fact hold on we're going to have to do a few more things private static int block x and block y and this will be okay the location of the player block y so which block is he touching um, Do do um player block x and do player block y like that. Okay, so you have that, and then under update do player block x equals um. I'm trying to think um x divided by twenty. I'm really tired, and then player block y equals y divided by 20 okay there we go that's perfectly okay um one more thing we have to do is since i as i've mentioned since x and y are typed like the over here in the screen it's not enough just to do divide by 20 you have to move it so wherever the player is so um if we go and see where's draw player at 
Okay, so divide 600 divided by 30, that's um, divided by 20, that's 30. 300 divided by 20 equals 150, or 15. So we could do, um, for this, plus 15, plus 30. Just follow along. I know you guys are probably confused. I've done all the hard math for you, and I really don't feel like explaining this. <laughs> I know, I'm cruel. Player, block, y, um, player, block, x. Or, no, move those around. X always goes in front of y. Dot, um, one more thing we have to do is under block, do, um, I forgot something, we gotta set the block type. Uh, so, public, or no, um, private static, um, no, not static, private, um, block types type, and then just set up, um, block type, like that. And then just set down here, do um, block type equals type, like that, perfect. And you could do public get block type. Um, it's going to return the enumeration block types. Um, if I get rid of this variable and get rid of that method get block. and no I think everything else is fine so then return block type okay so now we got that okay let's go back into player um, dot get block type equals block types dot air then um y minus equals 1. I don't know. If you want to run it... Oh, nope, he's flying. <laughs> God, it's so messed up. Okay, plus equals 1. And then you'll see he falls, but he's like hidden behind now. Um, so what we'll do is up here, what we'll do is we will do plus... Um, We'll, we'll do, um, oh, that did not mean to happen, come on, plus two. So, since he's two blocks tall, if his feet touch the ground, he falls. Okay, perfect. And then there's an error when you try to do that, so we'll move right or left, or we can't, because he just, he's broken. Um... Yeah, and we will learn about jumping too. Next tutorial, we'll probably do make be making so we can jump. Don't promise me on that. I'll probably be making these tutorials later tonight also. So if it's com something completely non-related, like making flying um, mushrooms, then I don't know what to say. That's just what I feel like doing then. Um, until I do the next tutorial, I guess I'll see you guys later.